um, it just makes it more believable. Unless you overdo it like I just did. And just put some more paint on there. Okay. I want to define my shadows a little bit more. correct my orange. When you're painting something, it's always good to figure out what you're painting and why something is there. There's a shadow right here, and it goes, it follows up here, and what it is is the light shining and hitting the lemon and then falling over the edge of the plate. And then there's the rim reflecting light, ambient light from the room. So, I really could use a brighter orange, but I don't have one in my paint box, I don't think, so I'm gonna have to go with what I have. I might want to make the background more interesting at this point. I'm about done with my local color and my shadows and about ready to put my highlights on. So, instead of having all that plain orange, now let's make it more interesting. And sometimes it's, it's good to just use your knife to do that. You know, you can create some interesting textural effects with your palette knife. And your palette knife is really good to put in highlights too. There's a really bright highlight on the orange, which, you know, really makes it look round. It doesn't look round without that highlight, so I'm going to try to put it in with my knife. It might not work. It's kind of, I made it kind of blue. Probably should be a little more orange. And then there's also highlights on the lemon and the lime. You just have to carefully observe where those highlights are. And they'll add like a, a, a feeling of dimension to your, what you're painting. They also have to be pretty bright. And that's why using the palette knife helps because I have so much paint on this canvas that if I used a brush, it might just kind of mush in. Okay, now, now I'm at the point where I step back and take a look at it and adjust the values and anything else I might see. Oh, the plate looks pretty bad. It, it needs to be brighter. It needs more white paint, and I need more white paint, so I need that. <laughs> I'm out. Okay, so as I'm looking at the painting and looking at the subject matter, I see that I really need to brighten up my plate. So I'm, I'm using pure white paint and kind of going around and cleaning up my edges.
It's not really important that um, the edges be perfectly symmetrical because it's a painting, it's not a photograph. Um, I, this kind of painting is not photorealism, it's more of an impressionistic type of painting. But it's the kind I really enjoy. I like to go outside and paint the landscape. Um, you know, and I do it in basically the same method. Put the local color down, put the shadow in, put the highlight in. And if you really look at the big picture, it doesn't take so long. Okay, there are some, some little ridges on the orange that probably, um, you know, define, define it as an orange. Actually, it's not an orange, it's a clementine. But you can, you can put as much or as little of that in as you want. I'm just showing it as a color change. Every little um, thing that you add, every little layer of paint makes your picture more interesting. And if you can use a color in one spot and then use the same color in another spot, even if you wouldn't think of using it, like putting the orange into the green, it creates a color harmony in your painting and makes it all you know, just relate, the pieces of it relate to each other better, kind of like a puzzle. And I'm not really happy with my lemon, but I'll try to fix it really quick. It needs to be much brighter and more yellow. So I'm going to throw some of that color in there and maybe blot that and go back to the knife. Finish my background. And there's a couple highlights on the plate that I will put in. in here that I love. And deepen the shadow on the orange and deepen the shadow on the lime. Pretty close to finished. There's a weird split right here in the shadow from, from the two directions that the light is coming. Might as well put that in because I see it. But you wouldn't have to. Okay, I think it's as good as it's going to get. All right, well, it looks like the painting turned out pretty well, and uh, 